Good grief. I swear these boxes are getting bigger every year, even though the TVs are getting smaller. And this is nothing. Wait till you see the TCL 8 series. That thing is a monster. It dwarfs this sucker. What's up everybody, I'm Caleb Dennison and you know exactly what this is because you've all been waiting for it just like I have. It is the TCL 6 Series QLED TV. It replaces one of the best TVs that TCL made last year. It's supposed to be even better, but there's no way we can find out until we unbox it and get looking. So, no delays, let's do this. Important, please read, grab from the bottom, don't smash the screen, do stuff smart, and uh, don't break the TV. Yeah, sure, sounds good. Let's take a look at this thing. I'm excited because I anticipate, based on the picture alone, some pretty trim bezels, even though it's not particularly thin. And, oh yeah, that's definitely what we have here. Got some protective foam on the side to get rid of, but already we're looking pretty nice. Look at this. Now this is what I like to see. Simple, not a whole lot to it. Couple of uh, real metal stands. Those are substantial. Uh, and I like this weird moray pattern. It reminds me of old overhead projectors. Do you remember those kids? Of course you don't. Uh, Roku remote, no surprises there. We've got the uh, uh, mute button volume control for this on the other side. A uh, little microphone button. You guys know what that's like. Breakout cable, battery. These are Visa mount screws. We've got the power cable here, but where's my screws? You know what? I just realized you actually have to unscrew before you get screwing. So here's what I'm talking about. This is really unconventional. The stand's gonna come in from the side. This decorative plate is gonna go and get replaced by the same sort of piece on the, on the leg. Um, but if you were wall mounting, you'd want that there because it would look better. So anyway, first we start unscrewing. Okay, and now we're just gonna pop this guy out. Then we'll pop this guy back in, just like so, and re-screw. And we do the same thing on the other side. Oh, looking pretty good so far. I mean, I'm like a kid when it comes to glossy things, but at the end of the day, it's just plastic. It's a fingerprint magnet. Producer Dan doesn't much care for it, but then again, he's just a grump. Other than that, it's what you expect from the back of the TV, except for this toad in Look on the stand. I'm not sure how that's going to look when we flip this guy around. And then all of your ports are right here. You get Ethernet, four HDMI ports, antenna, USB, uh, optical. There's even an audio out jack. Normally this is the spot where I would show you how to set up a Roku TV, but it's so stinking easy and I've done it so many times before, I feel like it's not really worth it this time. Suffice it to say that you follow the on-screen prompts, grab your phone, your tablet, your PC, log into your Roku account. If you don't have one, get one. Uh, and then tell it a bunch of uh, information about what apps you want. You can even sign in to Netflix and Hulu and Amazon and other services from the app so that by the time it is done with this crazy update, and this takes a while, you're just gonna have to sit through it, uh, it'll have all your apps where you want them and already signed you in so that you don't have to hunt and peck your uh, passwords and uh, usernames in with a remote. You can actually use the keyboard on your phone. So that's pretty slick. Once that's done, we get to watch the TV. All right, so once your TV's set up and we're actually watching TV, straight away you're gonna wanna go into the picture settings. And it doesn't matter whether you're on your cable input or Blu-ray input or here, Netflix or whatever streaming app, uh, just get into it and then press the star key. You're gonna have to do this for all your different inputs, right? Uh, but go in and change the picture mode to movie. It comes in low power um, and it looks really terrible. Super bright, low power mode, does not look good at all. Get it over to movie, in my opinion, that's the preferred picture preset. You can check the others out and see what you like, but movie's gonna have the warmest look to it, which again, I prefer. And then you can go into advanced picture settings and tick a few other boxes if you want to. Local contrast, either at medium or high, that's the effectiveness of the backlight system. Uh, but I'm gonna leave the backlight brightness, contrast, sharpness, color tint, all as uh, the default there, color temperature warm. Um, action smoothing is turned off by nature of the mode, but you also wanna make sure that LED motion, LED motion clarity is turned off because that's soap opera effect in a setting right there, okay? So that's where we're gonna start off with and then we'll tweak things as we go into our full review. But I just wanted to point that out. Out of the box, it is not in a great picture mode and you're gonna wanna adjust it again for each setting. Then 
Once you want to check out something that looks really good, try this, Dolby. There's a uh, Dolby content channel available on here and it's going to leave Netflix. Yes, that's fine. Um, it's going to pop up with our good friend uh, Thomas Dolby as the number one hit. Grab the Dolby Act Access channel and, uh, and go to it. There's some content here in Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos that you can check out right away to get a feel for what the TV can do. Now, normally I don't do this uh, when we're doing an unboxing and a full setup, but uh, something's not right here. I don't know. Like the last time I saw a TCL 6 series, I was like, dang, for the money. I'm not getting that right now. There's a lot for me yet to do on this TV, so my decision is far from made, but if ever there was a teaser for the full picture quality review video, this is it. Uh, I'm really hoping this goes in good directions for me as we progress with it. Folks, thanks so much for watching. What do you think of the TV so far? Leave me a comment down below. And also, you still excited to see it against the Vizio P-Series Quantum? Because I am. Here's a couple more videos we think you might like. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, visit digitaltrends.com for the latest tech news and reviews.